Ever wondered how the humble cassava root transforms into a versatile ingredient used across various industries? It's quite a journey, beginning in the ground and ending in your favorite products. Cassava starch, derived from this root, plays a crucial role in many industries. In the food industry, it's a staple. It thickens soups, gives body to sauces, and adds crispness to your favorite snacks. But it doesn't stop there. It's also part of the pharmaceutical industry, used as a binder in tablets or as a carrier for active ingredients in medicines. And in the textile industry, cassava starch is a star. It's used in the sizing process to strengthen yarn during weaving, contributing to the durability of your clothes. Its demand is high due to these wide-ranging uses, making it an essential component in various production processes. Now, let's unravel the journey of cassava from the field to the factory. The transformation of cassava into starch is a fascinating process. Imagine a journey that starts in the earthy fields and ends in a variety of industries such as food, pharmaceuticals, and textiles. This journey is the life cycle of the cassava plant, transformed into a versatile product, cassava starch. The process begins with the harvesting of the cassava roots, a plant native to South America, but now grown worldwide. These roots are then taken to a processing factory. Here they are cleaned and peeled, removing all traces of soil and the rough outer skin. Next, the clean cassava roots are graded and undergo fermentation, breaking down their complex sugars. The starch is then extracted, leaving behind fibrous material. This extracted starch is dried, turning it into a powdery substance ready to be used in various applications. Finally, the cassava starch is packed and distributed to various industries, ready to be transformed into countless products. Now we delve deeper into each step of the process. The journey begins in the field, where cassava roots are harvested. This process is a delicate dance of timing and precision. As the cassava plant matures, its roots swell and fill with starch, the vital component we're after. The time between planting and harvesting can vary, but it's typically around 9 to 12 months. Harvesting too early can result in lower starch content, while waiting too long can lead to deterioration or even loss of the crop. Therefore, the key is to find that sweet spot when the roots are at their starchiest. Farmers use a simple yet effective tool, known as a cassava harvester, to pull the cassava roots from the ground. Care is taken to minimize damage to the roots to maintain the quality of the starch. Once harvested, the cassava roots are gathered and prepared for transport to the processing factory. With the cassava harvested, it's time for the next step, cleaning. Once harvested, the cassava roots undergo a thorough cleaning process. Now that we've got our cassava roots from the field, it's time for a bath. The cleaning process is critical and it's more than just aesthetic. The aim here is to get rid of any dirt, soil particles, or any foreign matter that could compromise the quality of our starch. You might be wondering how does one clean a cassava root? Well, it's simple, it involves a good wash with clean water. This step not only cleans the roots but also softens the skin, making it easier for the next process peeling. Peeling the cassava root isn't just about making it look good, it's an essential step in ensuring the quality of our starch. The outer skin of the cassava root is a bit tough and fibrous, not the texture we want in our final product. Plus it may contain impurities or even traces of naturally occurring cyanide. Yes, you heard it right cyanide. But don't worry, it's harmless once the cassava is properly processed. The peeling process is simple. It involves removing the brown outer skin of the root to reveal the white starchy interior. This might seem like a lot of work but it's worth it. Peeling not only improves the texture and purity of the starch but also enhances its color, giving us a pure white product. So we've washed, we've peeled and what do we have? Clean white cassava roots ready to be transformed into starch. But we're not done yet. These roots need to be checked one last time to make sure they're free from any remaining dirt or skin. Remember, the cleaner and more thoroughly peeled the roots, the better the quality of the starch so it's worth taking the time to do this right clean and peeled the cassava roots are now ready for the next step grading and that's where we'll pick up next time taking you deeper into the fascinating world of cassava starch production grading is a key step in breaking down the cassava roots into a form suitable for starch extraction it's a bit like turning a solid potato into a slushy pulp you see the grading process involves grinding the cleaned and peeled cassava roots against a grating surface which could be a simple metal sheet with small holes or a more sophisticated grading machine. This transformation is crucial because it breaks down the tough fibrous structure of the cassava, making the starch granules within the roots more accessible. Now imagine the grated cassava as a wet, coarse mixture. This is where the magic truly begins. 
the grated cassava is transferred into large containers for fermentation, a process that lasts about one to two days. Think of fermentation as a mini spa retreat for our cassava pulp, where it gets to relax and let go of all its impurities. During fermentation, naturally occurring bacteria in the cassava get to work, breaking down the proteins, fats, and other non-starch components. This process is what gives cassava starch its unique properties. It also plays a critical role in eliminating any potentially harmful cyanide compounds present in the cassava. Yes, you heard that right. Cassava, when improperly processed, can have cyanide, a toxic compound. But don't worry, with proper fermentation these compounds are effectively removed. Fermentation also aids in enhancing the quality of the starch by removing any off flavors and undesirable color. It's like a natural bleaching process that leaves us with a cleaner, purer starch. After fermentation, the cassava pulp undergoes a series of washing to remove the loosened impurities. What we're left with is a wet, fermented cassava pulp that's ready for the next stage of our journey. So, we've grated, we've fermented, and we've washed. The cassava has come a long way from being a humble root vegetable. After fermentation, the cassava pulp is ready for the starch extraction process. And that, my friends, is the marvel of grating and fermentation in the production of cassava starch. The starch extraction process involves separating the starch granules from the rest of the cassava pulp. This is a critical step, where we move from simple cassava paste to the beginnings of pure useful starch. To begin, the wet cassava pulp is transferred to a series of sieves. These sieves are designed to separate the starch granules from the fibrous particles in the pulp. The sieves are shaken vigorously, allowing the tiny starch granules to pass through while retaining the larger fibrous particles. Once sieved, the mixture is then allowed to settle. This process, also known as sedimentation, relies on the principle that starch granules are heavier than water. Over time, the starch granules sink to the bottom, forming a concentrated layer. The water and any remaining impurities float to the top and can be easily drained off. Now having a concentrated starch slurry, it's time to get it dried. Drying is an essential part of the process as it reduces the moisture content of the starch, making it suitable for storage and use in various industries. The extracted starch slurry is spread thinly on drying trays exposing a larger surface area to the heat. These trays are then placed in a drying oven. The heat in the oven evaporates the water leaving behind the dry starch. The drying process is carefully monitored to prevent overheating, which could lead to the degradation of the starch. Once the moisture content is reduced to a desirable level, usually between 10 to 12 percent, the drying process is stopped. Now what we have left is a fine white powder, the cassava starch. This is the product that is so widely used in the food, pharmaceutical and textile industries. It's versatile, it's valuable, and it's all thanks to the careful process of extraction and drying. With the starch dried we move to the final step, packaging. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's appreciate the intricate process that transforms humble cassava into a versatile starch. The final step in the cassava starch production process is packaging. Once the starch is thoroughly dried, it's time for it to be packed up and prepared for distribution. This might seem like a simple step but it's crucially important. The packaging process involves carefully sealing the starch in moisture-proof bags. This process isn't just about bundling the product for sale. It's about preserving the quality of the starch, ensuring it stays dry and free from contaminants. Proper packaging safeguards the starch from environmental factors like humidity and temperature changes, which could compromise its quality. This requires not just any packaging, but specifically designed, sturdy, and reliable packaging solutions. Once the starch is securely packaged, it's ready for distribution. It can now be shipped and delivered to various industries, from food to pharmaceuticals to textiles, all across the globe. And there you have it, the journey of cassava from root to starch, ready to be used in various industries worldwide.